he balled up his fists, leaned back, and headbutted me square in the nose. The present defamation case between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard has everyone's attention. Today we are going to talk about how new evidence reveals that Amber Heard was lying about Johnny Depp. What is this trial all about? What was Amber Heard lying about? Has Amber Heard publicly lied before? Stick around till the end and we'll tell you all you need to know. Don't miss out on our next update. Subscribe and get your hands on the latest stories before the rest. So for the past few weeks, we have been witnessing the spectacle that is the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Let's briefly go over what's happened till now. So Depp is suing his ex-wife, Amber Heard, for defamation after she wrote an op-ed for the Washington Post where she referred to herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. This opinion piece supposedly laid bare the domestic abuse that she faced. Depp alleges that due to this article, his career took a hit and he lost out on roles. He was dropped from the Fantastic Beasts franchise and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. We have her testimony from both sides. It has been a painful process. Amber Heard's legal team hit Johnny Depp for his history of substance abuse and erratic behavior, while Johnny Depp's legal team and witnesses made out a case about how Amber Heard had a personality disorder and had lied extensively. How is it that you didn't just remember all of those events like this? That's, that's not how your memory or my memory works. Now, Let's talk about the latest controversy that has cropped up about Heard using concealer and makeup to cover her bruises. So Amber Heard stated that she used concealer and a color correcting kit to hide and cover her bruises from her alleged physically abusive relationship with Johnny Depp. Her lawyer, Ben Rottenborn, presented his opening statements where he showed the jury a Milani Cosmetics all-in-one correcting kit. He claimed that this was the concealer and color correcting kit that Amber Heard used to hide and cover her bruises. Now. The makeup brand has come out saying that this could not be true. A spokesman for Milani Cosmetics stated that, Milani Cosmetics can confirm that the palette in question, the Milani Cosmetics Conceal Plus Perfect All-in-One Correcting Kit, did not launch until December 2017. The issue is that according to Amber Heard's statements, these alleged incidents of physical violence took place way before 2017. So how did Amber Heard use a cosmetic set even before it was released? It seems like she has been caught up in yet another lie. Internet commentators also say that her statements do not add up. So Amber Heard used to wear metal rings on her face. If she was assaulted in the face, she would have needed stitches and extensive treatment. However, there was nothing on record to show this. Next up, let's look at other instances where Amber Heard has been caught being dishonest. In 2016, she announced that she would donate her entire $7 million divorce settlement to the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. She received a lot of praise for being altruistic. However, it seems like she never made any donation. So in 2020, Depp's legal team sent subpoenas to the ACLU to hand over records regarding donations made by Heard. But the organization refused to cooperate. So Depp filed a petition before a New York court to compel ACLU to hand over these documents. Now, what new reports tell us is that Amber Heard played a part in donating $1.3 million. But these amounts came from Elon Musk and Johnny Depp. What about her pledge to donate to the ACLU? It's been seven years, and it seems like she has not even kept her pledge to donate her divorce settlement. I pledged the entirety no, of the Heard, settlement, $7 that, million, to question. charity, and I, I intend to fulfill Heard, those obligations. That's not my question. Instead, she has chosen to reap the benefits of good publicity that comes along. Now, let's look at the time Amber Heard got arrested in Australia. In another strange incident, back in 2015, the Australian government arrested Amber Heard for bringing two Yorkshire Terriers to the country illegally. So Kevin Murphy, who was Johnny Depp's former estate manager, stated that Heard told him to say that she didn't know about Australian rules about bringing dogs to the country. Murphy then stated that Heard threatened him in case he didn't cover up for her. Murphy quoted Heard saying, I want your help on this. I wouldn't want you to have a problem with your job. So basically, Kevin Murphy stated that Amber Heard told him to lie under oath in a case with the Australian government. He stated, she wanted me to say essentially that it was my fault in one way or another that the paperwork wasn't completed so that I could take the blame for her. When Kevin Murphy was asked, why on earth did you not go to Mr. Depp to ask him to intervene rather than just lying on oath? Murphy stated, because Amber wielded a lot of power and would have made my life miserable. And that's a wrap for today. So it seems like a lot of revelations are coming out about the lives of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. 
Do you think that Amber Heard is lying? What do you think about the latest developments in this case? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.